So popping values from the stack um, is uh, everything happens in reverse order, and we already discussed this idea of the you know the lower memory and higher memory when restored into the higher and lower uh, parts of whatever we restore from the stack. Uh, so just um, a few notes about uh, simple pitfalls to avoid and simple mistakes to make. So of course um, it's easy to bypass the um, necessary pop instructions by doing something like this, you know, conditional jump, uh, jump if zero. So we, we just we just write some logic over here, doing some comparison, and jump if zero done. Okay, so uh, done and done is right here. So what we just did is that we we bypass this uh, pop a series of pop instructions um, by doing this, and of course the stack will be disturbed. So the top of the stack is copy of e flags, and the value of e flags now will be used by return instruction as if this was the address to return to. So that's a very bad idea. Right, so it's easy to just like somehow misplace uh, labels and uh, bypass these pop um, you know, the um, the necessary um, set of pop instructions which always supposed to match uh, the push instructions. So that's just one uh, mistake to avoid uh, be because it's so easy to make. So let's just run this code uh, very quickly uh, to observe uh, how it works and uh, what's what's what this ESP register is doing uh, when we execute this uh, this example because we have both push and pop in place so we should be um, we should be able to see something recognizable in our memory. All right, so let's just build this and uh, I will uh, press F11 to step into the code like this okay um, and um, uh, once again we're just going to push a recognizable uh, bit pattern from register eax so i'm just going to change this to to something that we can recognize we should be able to recognize five and uh, flags will take a note at the flags uh, uh, by the way none of these instructions should be changing the flag so th this is going to be the same the E flags are 246, uh, easily also recognizable a uh, bit pattern. So let's give it a try. So again, um, uh, step over F10, 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 F10. And uh, remember that the stack uh, was growing in the direction of uh, lower addresses. So right here, um, we can uh, take a look at uh, our stack. Just copy and paste uh, stack pointer, hit enter. And so here we are. So right on top of the stack where uh, ESP register is pointing to, Right, so the top of the stack ESP is pointing to this address right here. So this is our value, and here um, uh, it's uh, it's this value two four six, the last uh, value that was pushed on the stack. The next value is five, right? So again, in um, a little Indian format, is is five zero zero zero, but this is the lowest byte of this integer five, and finally the recognizable. Uh, pattern um, with a b c d uh, right here so this is the the third uh, thing that we push or actually the first thing that we pushed register eax content and this is once again the recognizable return address back to this kernel 32.dll whichever module was invoking our main procedure so this is the return address that will be used by our, our return instruction and so uh, esp uh, basically was uh, was uh, uh, going to the lower memory addresses as we were pushing these things on the stack but if we continue executing this code uh, the esp will go back to the higher addresses as as we go so uh, as i begin to pop values uh, so again f10 uh, you see, uh, ESP uh, gets incremented by four every time I step. I step again, so it goes uh, from fifty from fifty to fifty-four now to fifty-eight. 
Okay, so all of the uh, all all of the uh, three uh, of these pop instructions have have been executed, and now we're ready to return uh, to to this address uh, to the next instruction uh, in the module that uh, uh, that invoked us. I, I believe it's kernel thirty two dot dll. I'm just going to stop debug, stop debugging. And also, uh, one more thing, as long as we're talking about some pitfalls to avoid or some inconsistencies that could be the result of misplaced push pop instructions and all of this stuff, is that um, if you're preserving these values and then for some reason you don't want to restore them, all you can do is just adjust ESP instead of popping these values. So you recognize, for instance, that you don't want to pop any of these registers. So you just don't need any of this. So what you can do instead, right? So all we can do is just count how many push uh, of 32-bit uh, values we, we attempted. So it's three. Each one is four bytes in size. Three by four is 12 bytes. So if uh, right here... Uh, uh, if we just say add ESP12, uh, so we can just uh, essentially uh, say that this would throw away uh, three um, integers or three double words, um, 3D words uh, from the stack. And again, we should be returning nicely, right? So we should then be able to uh, go and uh, by the time as we adjust uh, uh, the uh, stack pointer uh, uh, towards the original position before it was uh, all of this so let's again let's just build this very quickly and uh, step through this f11 to step into just notice that my stack pointer is fac0 and uh, we'll just uh, say um, uh, f10 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 and now uh, FAC0. So we're back and uh, we can now return. I'm going to press F5 to continue execution of my program and uh, it uh, exits nicely without any trouble. So everything is okay. Everything is working. So this is an alternative to basically if you don't want to pop anything because pop has the target, right? pop has the operand you can restore flags or you can you can restore registers by the way you can also restore memory you can specify uh, memory location uh, indirect uh, reference or direct reference to memory location and you can do that as well right so we can do that but alternatively you can just calculate what should be the uh, the right adjustments for esp and this will uh, in my case this will uh, throw away everything that push did because all that we have to do uh, to return is to be able to point ESP to the original place where it was right when the procedure started to execute.